Welcome to Edivon. For over 30 years, we have provided premier technical teaching equipment across the globe. Our product range covers most technical areas which include engineering, physics, electronics, communication, and renewable energy. Every Edivon product is designed, manufactured, and quality controlled at our headquarters in Madrid, Spain under several quality standards. In this video, I will provide you with detailed instructions on the installation and assembly of the CFG unit. The version of this unit that we are installing is the 10 meter flow channel. This video is for the installation. If you would like to learn more about the unit and view a demonstration, you should watch the video titled CFG Flow Channels Unit. Before assembly, you need to have these two resources available electrical supply and water supply and drainage. You should study this diagram because it will help you to understand the assembly. Some of the parts are already assembled before shipping. If you have any questions during assembly, you can contact us by email or phone. This is a view of the unit and the diagram in order to relate the two. This is a view from the opposite end the outlet tank. The first section to assemble is the support structure. The three base supports are labeled A1, A2, and A3. First, the center base, which includes a motor, should be placed in the middle of the room. Then attach the support structure with the rod and the bolts as shown. There is a beam inserted inside these two square tubes of the upper section to increase the strength. Connect as shown. Next, mount the top of the channel support to the middle section using the hex bolts provided. There are three of these connections in each of the four areas. Then assemble the sides of the frame to the channel supports on the ends using the shaft, washers, and bolts. Insert the bolts to connect the sections of the shaft. This is the shaft connected to the motor at the bottom of the structure. When this shaft turns, the angle of the channel is changed by the use of the gearbox. Once you have completely secured the structure, you can then assemble the flow channel. Each flow channel is numbered and the corresponding number is located on the support frame. Place each channel one by one on the support structure. The channel sections sit on the beams like so. Be sure to install the rubber seal between each channel and the end tanks. There are three sections of the channel that must be tightly fastened together. Mate the channel sections together and fix using the nuts and bolts provided. Securely fasten the tanks to the beams as shown. These are used to level the channel on the beam supports. By tightening the bolts, the wedge is moved firmly under the channel. Connect the inlet tank and the reception tank on opposite ends of the channel, similar to how the channels were connected together. When facing the mounting for the control panel, make sure the reception tank is to your left and the inlet tank to your right. The inlet tank will have a level sensor safety device mounted on the side. Once the channels are mounted and securely connected, you are ready to assemble the storage tanks. This is how the storage tanks should be arranged. This is a view from the reception tank end or the left end of the unit when facing the control box on the opposite side of the flow channel structure. Mate each tank together like so. The frames also bolt together. Now you are ready to install the pipes from the flow channel 
to the storage tanks. Here are the connections from the reception tank to the storage tanks. Here is the connection from the pump to the inlet tank, which includes a series of pressure sensors. Before starting the pump, unscrew and remove the knobs and remove the transparent lid then fill the pump with water to the appropriate level. Lastly, we will connect the electrical and controlled connections. Connect the wave generator pump to the back of the wave generator control system. Attach the flow channel control interface to the support structure. Now let's take a look at the bottom of the interface. This is where you connect the sensors and controls. Each connection has a different number of pins to avoid any confusion with connections. This is a walk around of the complete unit. Now that you have installed the unit, you are ready for training and operation. Thank you for watching this video. A link to our website can be found in the video description below. For more information, please contact us by phone or email. We look forward to talking with you.